You're welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing the three basic trigonometric ratios. So we have a right angle triangle right there. The angle at point A is let's call it theta. So any side facing the angle is called the opposite, which is the side A. Now the longest side of the triangle is called the hypotenuse, which is our side C. Now the third remaining side is called the adjacent. So let's see uh, the ratios now. So we have sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And our opposite is A. And our hypotenuse is C. So it's A over C. So they are called ratios, okay? Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And our adjacent there is B. And the hypotenuse is C. So I have B over C. Lastly, we have tan theta is the ratio of opposite over adjacent. Our opposite there is A. And our adjacent is B, okay? So sine, cos, and tan, they are the basic trigonometric ratios. So let's see an acronym that can help us to remember these ratios. It is called so Katua. Now the S there is for sine, the O there is opposite, while the H is hypotenuse, okay? The C there is for cos, the A is for adjacent, and the H is hypotenuse. Now the T there is for tan, the O is opposite, and the A is adjacent. So remembering this acronym will help you to remember each of the ratios. So let's see an example now. So right here we have a right angle triangle with theta at A. We are asked to find the value of the angle theta and the side AB, okay? So looking at the figure closely, we discover that side BC, which is 3, is the opposite, and the side with 4 is the adjacent. So it means we are going to use our tan because we are taking the ratio of opposite and adjacent. So tan theta is 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is 0 0.5. Now to get our theta, we we'll take the tan inverse of 0 0.75 and we we'll discover that our theta is 36.8 degree so we can just approximate it to whole number as 37 degree okay your calculator can help you in evaluating tan inverse also uh, your four figure table can even help you with that so to find our side a b we use our pythagoras theorem a b square is equal to b c square plus a c square that is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two other side so we have three square plus four square now three square is nine four square is 16 nine plus 16 is 25 so we take the square root of both sides and our a b is five thank you